Hi Grade 3! Annyeonghaseyo! How are you today? I hope you are doing great! So for today, our subject is science. But before that, let us have our opening prayer. Let us put our hands together and feel the presence of our Lord. Dear Lord, thank you for fearfully and wonderfully creating each of us. Thank you for giving us word in your eyes. Help us live as the one you uniquely intended us to be. Help us abide instead of strive, living peacefully and joyfully as heirs to your kingdom and co heirs with Christ. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Okay, kids, our lesson for today in Unit 2, Chapter 1, Lesson 2 is all about physical properties of matter. Again, Lesson 2, Physical Properties of Matter The properties of matter that can be easily described with the sense of our, with the use of our senses are called the physical properties of matter. Again, the properties of matter that can be easily described with the use of our senses are called the physical properties of matter. Okay, kids? What are the properties of solids? We have hardness, brittleness, strength, and malleability. Again, the first property is about solids. Properties of solids, we have hardness, brittleness, strength, and malleability. Okay, kids, the first property uh, properties of solid, we have hardness. Solids that cannot be scratched easily are Hard. When we say hardness, it is a property of solids. It is the ability to withstand scratching. Example of hardness materials, we have stones, metals, and steel. Okay. Aside from that, scratching an object against another object is another way to test the hardness of an object. As you can see kids in our picture, they are testing both Hard materials which are stone and coin. Okay? The next one we have brittle nets. It is a property of solid that makes them break into pieces when dropped or when pressured is applied on them. Example of object that can be easily break is vase. Okay, kids? The next one, kind of look at the, this picture. We have a wire, a rope and a straw okay here's my question grade three which object can easily breaks when pulled or cut again which object can easily breaks when pulled or cut very good it's a straw usually a straw can easily pulled and cut the next one we have properties of solid which is strength when we say strength, it is a property of solids. It is the ability of solids to resist breaking such as cutting, twisting, or pulling. In this part, kids, we are using our strength, okay? To cut, to twist, or pull some objects or materials. Next, the last one of properties of solids, we have malleability. When we say malleability, it is the ability of a material to be sharpened by hammering without breaking into pieces. Again, it is the ability of a material to be sharpened by hammering without breaking into pieces. Now, let us move on in property of liquids. We have fluidity. When we say fluidity, grade 3, it is the ability of the liquids to flow. Some examples of liquids, we have water, juices, beverages, or alcohol. Okay? So, do you know how liquids are different from one another? Some liquids can flow faster, just like water, juice, alcohol, beverages, or soy sauce, vinegar, and etc. And others, liquid flow slower, just like the oil or honey, okay? 
Now let us move on about properties of gases. They are easy to compress. They expand to fill their container. It takes the shape of its container. And then the last one, it has mass 2. When we say mass grade 3, it is typically large body of matter with no definite shape. Again, when we say mass, typically large body of matter with no definite shape. Example of gas, the air into the balloon. Okay? And aside from that, we have the gas. Gas stove that we are using for gas stove. Okay? The gas. Now, let us answer your science book. Let us answer review letter A on page 271. Here's the instruction. Answer the following questions. Write the answers on the blanks. Question number one. How can you easily describe the physical properties of a matter? It can easily describe the physical properties of matter with the use of our sense organs. Okay, we have five sense organs, kids, ha? Huh? And then next, number two, how can you test the hardness of an object? By touching it and scratching an object against other object. Next, how can you test the strength of a material? We can test the strength of a material by what? A material is strong if it can keep itself from or withstand breaking when twisted or when given a strong pull or when caught. Next, number four. How are liquids different from one another? Some liquids flow faster, others liquid flow slower. And the next question number five. What are the properties of gases? Gases takes the shape of their containers. They have mass too. Okay, kids? Next, let us answer review letter B on page 272. Here's the instruction. Identify what is being described. Write the answers on the blanks. Number one, it is the ability to withstand scratching. We called it hardness. Number two, it is the quality of a solid to break into pieces when dropped or when pressure is applied on it. What do you think is the answer here, kids? Very good. It's all about brittleness. Next, number three, it is the ability of a material to be shaped by hammering without breaking into pieces. Okay, kids, what property is this? We called it malleability. Next, question number four, it is the ability of fluid to flow. From the word fluid, this means about fluidity. Okay, kids, now question number five for the last question. It is the ability of solids to resist breaking such as cutting, twisting, or pulling. This one is property of solids regarding strength. Okay, kids, did you understand our lesson, kids, about physical properties of matter? If yes, by the way, we don't have assignment in this topic. Okay, kids, I hope you learned a lot today and see you in our next session. Goodbye, grade 3.